Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm here in the Appalachian Mountains in far southwest Virginia on a rural road to show you how to identify milkweed, where to find it, and why it might matter to you and our ecology to know what milkweed is. And this is common milkweed, and you know it's going to tie back to the endangered monarch butterfly migration phenomena. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So how do you recognize milkweed? Well, here's some milkweed right here. So let's take a look and see what I look for. So one of the things I look for is a tall, single, stout stem. All of these plants here are on a single stem. The next thing I look for and ask myself, are the leaves paired? And you can see that all these leaves come out in pairs. There's always two leaves opposite each other. So there are, right here, are two leaves coming out of the stem opposite each other. And I go next tier up, two leaves opposite, two leaves opposite. If I take a leaf off, one of the things you'll notice immediately is that a white milky sap comes out of the broken stem. And it's very milky and it's very sticky and actually I find it sometimes kind of hard to wash off. The leaf itself will also bleed white as well and so that's another indicator that this is in fact milkweed and it's probably how it gets its name from that milky substance that comes out of the leaves. Looking at the leaf overall it has a main central stem the top of the leaf is kind of smooth and green and shiny. The bottom of the leaf is light green and fuzzy. And again, it's characterized by a very, very prominent vein that goes right down the middle and then has branching side veins. Another thing to look at is the plant itself again. You see those paired leaves? Well, they all come out at 90 degree angles from each other. Each tier goes 90 degrees opposite. And so what you end up with is a plant that's very, very symmetrical when viewed from the top. And from the side, you can see that these leaves alternate. Always opposite each other on the stem, but they'll alternate um, 90 degrees going up and down the stem. Mature milkweed, of course, can be identified by these distinctive pods. This is still early in the summer. Later in the year, these pods will dry out. And once the leaves have fallen off, those pods will split open and release windblown seeds on a milky white stalk to help carry them away. Here you can see the flower tops falling off and the mature seed pods that have developed from those flowers. Milkweed can appear very distinctively on the roadside. You see how this milkweed plant here is towering among the rest of them. And keep in mind, of course, it's that single stem. It doesn't branch out. So looking for those paired leaves in tiers that are opposite each other. You can see a flower on the tip of that one. Pretty easy to spot on rural roadsides. Common milkweed is really the favorite of all my milkweeds, and it's because it's such a stout, rel relentlessly growing plant, and it's a great one to have. It's so hardy, and it produces these flowers that have five petals, and it produce lots of nectar. There's often so many different organisms visiting these flowers. They're very perfumey. They smell amazing have a lot of nectar. So not only are they food for monarch caterpillars, the leaves that is, but the flowers are also a great way station for migrating monarchs and other butterflies as well. Fantastic, beautiful flowers. 
People often ask me, where do I find my milkweed? Well, I love going to rural roadsides in rural areas and going along the road and just looking out of my car window for milkweed. You can see that this field here is pretty much devoid of any milkweed. I'm not seeing it there, but against the roadsides, that's a different story. The fields are managed to keep the weeds out. Milkweed contains a variety of toxic alkaloids, which would make them toxic to cattle, so they're uh, discouraged from growing in cattle fields. But here on the roadsides, with infrequent cutting, you can find some great stands of milkweed. Walking or driving down roadsides near my house, I keep an eye out for what I call a milkweed stand. And this is a stand of milkweed, meaning there's lots of milkweed growing here in one place. It's formed a patch. Part of this is from self-seeding, and part of this is also from spreading by underground stolons. So when you have one milkweed plant established, it'll start spreading by underground stolons and create quite a colony. So this is a really good place for me to search for monarch caterpillars, search for monarch eggs, as well as to get leaves to feed any monarchs that I'm keeping at home for demonstration, education, and to uh, tag and release as adults. I always use the local population. So on this country road, the state mows this section here alongside of the road to keep the road open. The farmer grazes cattle and controls weeds uh, within the fence area, but right along the fence line, you can find milkweed growing in relative abundance. And remember, why do we care about milkweed? Well, because it's the main thing and it's the only thing monarch caterpillars can feed on. The monarch migration phenomena, monarchs migrate annually from to Mexico to overwinter, from places where they develop as adults as far away from as Canada. Without milkweed, uh, the monarch population won't survive. And so I want to teach people how to identify milkweed so that when they're gardening, they can select this either at a gardening store to plant along with other milkweed species or select the plants that have volunteered to grow up in people's yards and nurture them so that that stand can grow and spread and you're doing you're having native plantings you're providing nectar for so many different organisms over 250 species of organisms will either feed on the plants themselves or gather nectar from the flowers well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door and learned some things about how to identify milkweed and why it really matters. And maybe you'll be able to nurture a stand of milkweed somewhere on your property or on your land. Don't forget to check out my monarch butterfly playlist for much, much more on monarch butterflies, caterpillars, and milkweed as well. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, and turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode nature at your door.